Crossdev blog 148. This week they've added a trading wall thing. Now it's safe, you can't kill each other through it. And um, I've got better barricade metal prefab here, Joe Well, to um, show you how it works. Now, if we both click open on here, it'll come to the screen. You can see I'm in it, and so is he. He's going to offer a bolt action rifle for 100 high quality metal. He clicks accept, and you can see here it says accepted. And if I click accept, the trade goes through, I get the gun, he gets the um, high quality. I'm just going to double check to make sure you can't kill people through it. No, you can't. And glass now also has um, like a damage showing thing on it. You can see where I've shot, and if uh, he hits it with his stone, you can also see it like that. that looks so that's really cool. Now this will make trading a lot safer, because there's nothing worse than getting ambushed. But this will bring people to your base to trade, which if you're hiding, you may not necessarily want to do. But I do like this, it's good. Okay, also this week they've added fridges. Now, this is what it looks like. It looks like a little picture on it of a house, a man, what looks like some sort of thing, and uh, some clouds up there. It actually looks like a pair of testicles, actually. Come look at this, Joel. Okay, in, in the top of the picture, look. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is how much it costs. So if we go to items, it's there. Fridge, 75 metal fragments. So it's pretty cheap to make. Now you can open it, and it says here, large wooden box. You can't put anything in there. You can only put food in there, which is cool. I guess... It's, just, it's a food box, really, that's all it is, in the shape of a fridge. Which is nice of doing things like this, because um, it gives more variation of your base. You know, it makes a little, little bit more different. I have no idea what he's doing. So yeah, that's, that's nice. I can see skins coming out for this, and they are going to be doing some changes. There's a, there's a picture of a pile of shit on the side of it as well. What does this say? Front door pin 1239. Yeah. The Python the Revolver this week has had an 18% damage buff, so it's increased by 18%, which is good. I do really like this weapon. A lot of people hate it, but it's, uh, I think it's the noise that does it for me. It's really loud, and I think uh, Joel's had a stroke here in the corner. He's got some crazy crab hands going on. Look at the size of that neck. Some vending machine changes this week. You can no, no longer put locks on them. Um, I don't necessarily know why they've done that, because then anyone in your base can use it, but I'm assuming if you're building with people, you're going to trust them anyway, so it wouldn't really matter that much. So you can no longer put locks on them. It still works the same. You know, you can make orders to, to, um, to, to buy and shit. Over here, I'm just going to make another one. I might sell uh, a pumpkin for some high quality metal. So I'll put the pumpkin in there. Did that even work? No. Oh, you can't sell food. Okay. I'll sell a bolt action then. So we go bolt action rifle. Now they fixed the high quality thing. So you can type high quality in here now. So I want to sell what one of them for a hundred of that. And it comes up here. Now if we go around to the front, we'll see another change they've made this week. Which is there's got a little TV screen on it, so all your all your cell orders will appear on this screen. So there's the one I just made, 100 high quality for the bolt action. I think that's one high quality for 10 bullets. Maybe in the future, underneath what 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 you're selling, they should put like a times 10 or a times one. You know, because how much wood do you get for 500 metal fragments? I'm sure, you can just click E and it will tell you. But um, I, they will be doing some changes to this, surely. So that's a really nice little thing they've done. Um, yeah. On a side note, I've hit over 2,000 subscribers now, which is really nice. Thank you to those who have subscribed. If you haven't, I'm not telling you to, but it would be nice if you did. Joel hasn't played the game in, in months, so pretty much everything here is new to him. 
And thank you all for watching. That is it for this week. Um, I'll put a link to the dev blog in the description. You can go have a look there. There's plenty more things I've done, like uh, world models and stuff. What's, what's he got? Oh, the metal. So yeah, I'll see you next week. And thank you for watching.